you know what? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! Turns out I've been mispronouncing Lu Zhaozhun's name wrong for eight years. We haven't seen the last of Lu. He's still only technically a two-time gold medal winner. And some fun facts. G'day guys, my name is Chris Ackland. I'm the owner of Iron Tribe Weightlifting in Melbourne, Australia. Our goal is to help introduce as many people to the sport of weightlifting as possible. Before we get started guys, I'm just going to uh, apologize in advance if I say Lu's name incorrectly. Uh, so in my last Lu Zhaozhun video, I discussed that uh, potentially this was going to be his last competition. It was going to be his third gold medal, um, which I'll get into a little bit later. Uh, it's also, he's 37 years old, so I, I just figured that the chances of him kind of moving forward after being, uh, you know, a three-time gold medal winner, being 37 years old, having Lee Day-In on his um, tail, would have probably meant that it's time to um, step away from the sport and... Um, you know, spend time with his family. Uh, I'm glad to say that I, I, it looks like I was wrong. Um, in his most recent video, he discusses that he feels like he is not satisfied uh, and he feels like he's potentially good for more. His next step is going to the National Games in September. Uh, from there, he'll take a little bit of time off, um, but Paris is a possibility. Um, he didn't really commit to, to too much, but he did say that he was unsatisfied with Tokyo and he feels like his competitor's game is weak. Uh, and that he's possible to do that 175, 177 mark for the snatch, as well as like a 207 clean and jerk. He did mention that the, two, the 210 kind of caught him off guard, but that if he had to hit it, that he would hit it, um, especially if it was going for gold. He was prepared to die for gold, is what he said. So uh, I highly recommend seeing that video. It's a really great video. It's cool seeing him kind of have a bit of a laugh um, and see some of his personality after probably what was a really tough preparation for the Olympic Games. This, bring me, this brings me to my next point, which is on... Um, I had a, a question asked on Rahimov and his... Uh, what's going on with him. Um, and had um, Lou been given the gold medal yet? And, and it turns out it's uh, he hasn't actually been given it. So uh, in an, an article by Brian Oliver um, on Inside the Games website, he goes through how um, potentially it would have been a really good moment for, for Lou to be stepping onto the platform already as a gold medal winner from a two-time gold medal winner, and then that this would have been his third. Um, so Rahimov had tested positive or not tested positive, I shouldn't say that. Rahimov had been accused of using a body double to swap out urine samples on three different occasions in the three or four months in the lead up to the um, 2016 Olympic Games. One of them was about two months beforehand. Now, obviously, he's subsequently been um, caught and accused of these things, and it's going through the process now, but the process hasn't been finalized. So technically, Lou hasn't been... Lou hasn't... Sorry. Lou hasn't been given the uh, gold medal. So it's going to be interesting to see um, when that is finally finalized and, and when it is given to him. Because if he does decide to go again for 2024, this could mean that he's potentially going to be, a, you know, fighting for a fourth gold medal. Um, and I don't know of anybody in history, I have to double check this, um, who has who has done that. I know Pyrrhus Demos won four medals, but I'm pretty sure one of them was a bronze. Fin finishing this video, uh, a couple of fun facts. Uh, number one, um, I apologize for the accent. Obviously, Australian accents, we kind of like ockerize everything. We make everything sound more brutal than probably what it is. Um, someone had uh, tagged me in a video suggesting I watch this as to how to pronounce Lou's name. Um, and the way that I, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that it's not Lou like Luigi, it's Lou like, it's, it's Lou like Lewis. Um, so, uh, they sent me a video, um, which I'll, I'll, I'll link below as to how to say it, and I have been practicing, so hopefully I've got it correct this time. Um, now, uh, I also had one of my members let me know that um, Zhao Jun translates to Little Soldier, which was a, a pretty interesting fun fact, which I had no idea about. Um, and uh, the last fun fact is it just happens to be today, so it's in my memories, which is why I'm kind of thinking of it on my Facebook memories. On this day seven years ago, uh, I was fortunate enough to go with a bunch of other people to um, Beijing Sports University, and we were able to train there for two weeks, which was really exciting. We had some pretty cool opportunities. Um, we got to meet Liao Hoi, which I've probably said that wrong and I do apologize. Um, we got to meet him and, and another lifter. I can't even remember his name, but at the time he was a 77 kilo lifter and him and um, Lu were um, 
competing together. So we were able to go to a test meet where Liao hit uh, his opening clean and jerk at 200 kilos. Um, we got to chat to Lou's coach, which was pretty cool. Uh, we met some amazing people, hashtag 3 Seng. Um, and um, probably one of the best memories, which is etched in hook grip lore, is uh, hook grip uh, Nat took a photo of me while we were at, um, going on our you know, tours around um, China and uh, put a nice little watermark on me. So pretty much I am world famous. I am sponsored by Hook Grip. So uh, thank you very much, Nat. So that's it for me for this video, guys. If you're enjoying this stuff, um, please let me know below what you'd like to see. Um, that last video on, on Lu Zhaojun kind of blew up and I'm not sure if 90% of it blew up because of an Australian saying his name wrong um, or if it was um, informative. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.